Good morning, happy new week. We have seen a massive rally of stock markets in the last few weeks. What's going to happen in the next few days? My name is Carlo Alberto De Casa. I'm going to look into the main market driver for the next few trading days. Riscon is still dominating the scenario and this is the perfect environment for oil price for recovery. We have seen WTI jumping to $43 per barrel while the Brent, the North European oil, is traded well above $45. Riscon, of course, is not the best thing for gold price. Bullion is remaining well above $1850. This is a crucial support level for the yellow metal, but so far Bullion was not able to recover to 1900 despite the weakness of US dollar. Yes, the weakness of the greenback is one of the elements to, um, to study in the next few days. We shouldn't forget that the final part of the week can be uh, a bit... Um, we can see maybe lower volatility and uh, lower volumes as there will be Thanksgiving Day and the US stock markets are going to be closed. The bullish chart that you are seeing just behind me is the New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. In the last few months, we have seen a massive recovery of the currency of Wellington against the American dollar. In the first part of the year, we have seen a, a decline and the New Zealand dollar has fallen uh, up to 0 0.55 against the US dollar. But after this, everything has changed and we have seen a massive recovery and the currency of Wellington is now playing against the resistance level, uh, the psychological level of 0 0.70 against the greenback. There's quite a lot of expectation for the speech of uh, or the governor of the Reserve uh, Bank of New Zealand, which is going to be at 3 a.m. on Wednesday morning, uh, European time, 2 a.m. in UK. After um, the uh, statement of this time where he uh, decided not to cut uh, the interest rate, let's see what uh, the governor for the uh, Central Bank of New Zealand is going to decide this time. On Wednesday, we'll have a few macroeconomical data coming from US. We'll have the initial jobless claims and the new home sales. We shouldn't forget the crude oil inventories. This can confirm the trend of the last few weeks, which was supportive for uh, oil price. In the evening, we'll have, uh, in the European evening, we'll have the FOMC uh, meeting minutes. While the following day, on Thursday, which is going to be Thanksgiving Day, we'll have uh, European Central Bank monetary policy statements. This could be interesting market movement for the euro dollar, which is playing with the key resistance level on 119. Let's see what's going to happen in the next few trading days.